I'm updating the ECU program on my Triumph Bonneville Speedmaster and I'll show you how it's done. First what you want to do is make sure that you have sufficient power. One of the things you do is uh, take out the fuse for the main headlight. The main headlight is a major power consumer and uh, to make sure that there's sufficient voltage on the system during the update you simply take out the fuse, which on this bike is hidden behind the left side panel. One more thing to do during the update is to plug in a charger for the battery and make sure that you have sufficient power on the system. I believe that the update requires a voltage minimum of 12.5, which will be supported by by plugging in your maintenance charger. We have it here, it's plugged in, you can see now it's starting its initial diagnostic and then it will switch on to providing power supply for the system. And also we need to make sure that we have access to the ECU. This requires a device for plugging onto the OBD link of the motorbike and here I have bought a wireless Bluetooth connected device which will make sure that my Android device can actually connect to the ECU. This is a high quality item comes with instructions and really easy to use you just simply plug it in and then you turn on Bluetooth on your Android device and you pair the two devices and then you have access to the ECU. So going back into the garage to the motorcycle I have here the OBD device plugging it in and once you plug it in, you'll see immediately that it fires up, there's power onto it, and it starts searching for a Bluetooth connection. You can see here the green light indicates that it's on, and the rapid flashing blue light that it is searching for a Bluetooth connection. So that's the next step to make sure that I can connect it to the Android device from which I'm going to upload the new program for the ECU. So switching on the bike, just checking that we still have power to the OBD and we do. So it's simply a matter of going on to the Android device, in this case it's one of our household tablets just simply going into Bluetooth and uh, start searching for the OBD device. It might take a few seconds for it to pop up. Once it does it's a fairly easy task to just click and connect. And by the way I'm leaving the background noise on Instead of reducing it because it's a nice spring day and you can hear the birds singing outside. So here we have it, it's discovered the Bluetooth device and it's requesting to pair. And you just say OK. And there you have it, your Android device, in this case our household tablet, is connected to the OBD device of the Triumph motorcycle. And from there on, it's a matter of going into the program that you're going to use to connect to the ECU. In this case, I'm using Tune ECU. This is great for Triumph. And you have to select the type of ECU. This is a KN from Triumph. Just select that and press OK. And, uh, and you select it directly in the app. And once you do, 
you should have access within a matter of seconds. You can see a green flashing light at the bottom of the screen of the tablet. And um, this just to make sure that we chose the correct ECU, and we did. So reading the pop-up menu, if you want to pair the devices, and just accept it. And you can see also that values of, for instance, the voltage is popping up. It's a bit below 12.5, and that's due to the uh, injection pump running, consuming power. That will stop once the update of the ECU starts. You have four screens in the Tune ECU app. It's really intuitive, simple to use. I'm just checking here to see if there's any error codes, and uh, there were none. So that's good. So you can swipe to the left, and then you see an indication of of uh, measurement from your bike. In this case, if it was running, you would see the tachometers showing the revolutions, and the final screen to the left is the map of how the ECU is configured. And um, from here, there is an opportunity to actually reprogram the ECU. I have purchased a program from an American company specifically for the configuration of this motorcycle. I have an update with Vance and Heinz exhaust pipes. I also have the Motone X pipes, so there's a change to the exhaust part of this bike. And I have been running a booster plug to make sure that I get more power in the lower revolutions of the engine. And now I'm going all in, making sure that I have the best program for this hardware configuration of my bike. So I've downloaded the acquired new program put it on my Android device and you simply go to the menu of this page in the app with the uh, with the map of the ECU and you push reprogram and then you need to accept two or three menus informing you that everything might go wrong and if it does it's on your own responsibility and just accept that and it will start uploading the new program to the ECU. This is a time-lapsed uh, visualization of how that progresses. And in the first attempt, it succeeded. No problem. The bike came back to life. You can hear the injection pump running. And you get a sound notification that now your reprogramming is done. So that my friends is more or less it and it requests that you turn off the bike wait for five seconds and then try to start it and I did but nothing happened at that's of course because I had taken out one of the fuses and uh, let me just put that back in here you have it the fuse for the main lights That of course should be reinstalled before starting the motorcycle again. So going to the left side, locating the fuse box, putting back the fuse, and also taking out the charger plug before starting the motorbike. Let's try again, power on, and here we go. The reason for this update being that I want a better performance of my Triumph motorcycle. I want a better performance especially at the low revolutions of the engine. I want more power throughout the entire revolution range and I'm very excited to go riding the bike to see how improved it's been. And um, in the app you have various opportunities for checking error codes and so on once the uh, the bike is running tons of opportunities there i'm not going to dig into those in this video but just 
wanted to show you how to update the ECU. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.